Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechach I want to send double honors unto the elders and apostles at Great Millstone. Peace, love, and salutation, and much respect unto the Akim hitting the highways and the hedges week in and week out, presenting your bodies as a living sacrifice for Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. All right, this is the brother you call the moth with the GMS Nebraska camp, coming back once again with another lesson. And uh, this lesson is based off of a conversation that I had with um, an older Jake, you know, the other day concerning trades, you know, and uh, going to school and doing all these different types of things to be successful in the world. And But there was a point, or there was a statement that he made all right, that stuck out and it resonated with my spirit automatically. And he said, do the things that you have to do in order to do the things that you want to do. You know, which, of course, you know, you know, Jake, you know, Jake is about getting more money, you know, uh, being successful in this life, doing big things in this world. Right. But us as men of the Lord, we look to do big things in the spirit and the things that we have to do. That's why I got this here. I'm going to read it. Matter of fact, and Lord willing, this video is edifying, you know, because it's, um, hey, my, my spirit was on fire once he said that, man. You know, this is uh, the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12 and verse 13. It says, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the most high and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. OK. And the reason why I want to get that, man, is because that's out. That's we have one job. You know, we have we as men of the Lord, we have one job, man, to fear the most high and to keep his commandments. And that's something that we have to do in order to please Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, in order to obtain a righteous reward a incorruptible crown, a kingdom, you know. <laughs> These are the things that we have to do, and this is very necessary, man. Very imperative that we follow the law, such as the commandments of Yahweh Shai, you know, and um, which brings to mind a lesson that I want to do concerning how Jake, just just as Jake, um, they go hard as a two-third doing things <laughs> that two-thirds do, we should go. We should be the same way in the spirit, man. You know, because there's gonna be a, a righteous reward for the most for the most high's elect, being salvation, and there's gonna be a um, there's gonna be a, another reward for all those that don't um, follow Yahweh Bashim Shah's law, statutes, and commandments. You now, as it says in the book of Peter, it says the righteous shall scarcely be saved, and what shall be the end of them that obey not the gospel? You know. Now, now, starting, starting with it starts with us, man, because it says what in the book of Ezekiel nine it says that we, the Most High is going to start at His sanctuary, but it also applies to these different nations too, man. Because if you look around, they're not following the law, such as the commandments of Yahweh Shai. Baruch four and four, it says that um, I forgot to grab it, now for edification's sake, it says, Oh Israel, happy are we. For things that are pleasing to the Most High are made known unto us. This is why we have. This is why Yahweh Shai said he's going to start at his sanctuary, because we we should know better, man. I uh, was at the Book of Psalms. It says that Yahweh Shai gave his word and his commandments and understanding unto Israel. You know, Deuteronomy six and seven says what he made us a peculiar people near unto himself. So Yahweh Shimei Shai always dealt with Israel. He only dealt with Israel. He said, out of all the nations of the earth, ye only have I known. So yeah, we have to be judged, man. Our people have to be judged. But it also does apply to these other nations, man. Because the, the Most High, it says what? When the, when the kingdom of heaven is established, according to the book of Isaiah, you know, these different nations are going to flow into Israel for, for uh, the keep for the laws and statutes and commandments of Yahweh Shimei Shai, man. All right, and so we have to do the things. Uh, is that we have to do what we have to do in order to to do what we want to do, man. We want to rule. All right, we want to have our own kingdom. So it starts now, man. We have to do what Yahweh Shemuel Shai said to do, you know. And through the Spirit, you know, me and Akim, we had a conversation where we said the Most High is very particular on certain things, man. Like, uh, like, like with Noah in the ark, he was very specific on what type of wood to use. You know, he was very specific on the measurements. You know, he was very specific on a lot of things. Why? Because 
um, th that's why he gave the he gave that word because he know that these different measurements, this this type of wood, the instruction that I gave that I gave you, is gonna is gonna help you prosper. Which he did, man. You know, the Most High is very specific. Okay. So hey, Lord, like I said, Lord willing, this is edifying. I'm getting to this here. And you know, the reason why I have this is because it says uh Philippians three and seven. It says, But what things were gained to me, those I kinda lost for you, I was shy. So another necessary thing is um which I should have got the book of Colossians, the third chapter, where it says to mortify your members which are upon the earth. Okay? Because you gotta let go of that old man. You gotta um you gotta please your Habashim Yahweh Shai. And you and you you have to do what you have to do for your Habashim Yahweh Shai, man. Because guess what? The world the world will kill you, man. Your old your old fleshly fleshly being, that old man will kill you, man. You know, as one of the elders down in Dallas said, man, you gotta kill that kill that old man. You gotta kill that nigga, man. You know, you can't associate that man with this truth. Yeah, how about Shemiah was shy? I ain't dealing with that 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 old man. He ain't dealing with that nigga, man. And that's something that you have to do in order to please your Habba Shemiah was shy, man. Because you can't serve the Most High and uh, uh and the and Mammon, or in in this flesh, you can't you can't be uh, hot or cold, man. I mean, you can't be hot and cold, Salaki. You can't you can't be in lukewarm, pretty much. Okay, as the Book of Revelation tells us, it says, "Yea, doubtless." And I count all things but lost for the excellency of the knowledge of how my Shai, my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things and do count them but dung, that I may win Hamashiach and be found in him, not having my own righteousness, which is of the law, but that which is through the faith of Hamashiach, the righteousness which is of the Most High by faith. Okay, this is how we obtain the kingdom. All right, as the book of Sirach says, it says, the wisdom of Yahabashim Yahushai bringeth to a kingdom, man. So if you're not sub, if you're not uh, uh, dealing in the spirit, if you're not studying, if you're not di you know doing what Yahweh Shimei was shy, ordained as a, a, a oracle unto us, be, be, meaning following the law, statutes, and commandments that He set up, there's no way you're gonna get the kingdom, man. There's no, there's no way you're gonna be high ranked in the kingdom, I should say, because all Israel is gonna be uh, um, have some type of rank in the kingdom, but if you're not doing the things necessary now. Your ranking in the kingdom ain't going to be that that high. Matthew chapter 5, you know, chapter 5 and I believe verse 17. Um, um, matter of fact, let's see. Uh, and verse 19, you know, it, it, and this is concerning the keeping of the laws, you know, because you do have people in this world that say that the Old Testament is done away with and they try to make light of the law. They try to water down the law as if you don't have to follow certain commandments. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai proclaimed or certain laws that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai have set up, you know. So it says, whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments and shall teach men so, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. So there's going to be a ranking system, man, based off of what uh, what you're doing now in this life. Okay? If you, if you ain't following the law, statutes, and commandments, you ain't, you know, you ain't, you ain't fasting. You know, you ain't, you ain't praying. You ain't calling upon the name of the heavenly father. You teaching that you can eat pork, you know, do all these things that, that pretty much what niggas do. You're going to be least in the kingdom of heaven, man. But though all those that keep the law, statutes, and commandments, which is something that we have to do, because what it says, his his word abideth forever, man. All right? If, you, if, if uh, you're if you not following what he said to do, you're going to be least in the kingdom, man. All Israel, when the kingdom of heaven is established, will be above the heathen nations, man, because we're still the most highest people at the end of the day. But you're not going to be... Um, uh, renowned in the kingdom, man, because you didn't want to follow the law, statutes, and commandments and do what Yahweh Shem Shai have ordained, you know? So now I want to get this scripture here because nobody said that this truth was going to be, uh, dealing in this truth is going to be easy, man. 
You know, hey, hey man, I'm just gonna get it, man. This is the book of Second Ezra, chapter seven. And I'm gonna start from verse six. It says, "There is also another thing: a city is built and set upon a broad field." No, oh, damn, that's that's demonic as hell, man. It says a city is built and set upon a broad field, and it's full of all good things. The entrance thereof is narrow and set in a dangerous place to fall, man. All right. That's the giving of Yahweh Bashimah Shah's law, statutes, and commandments. Because guess what? We're in a we're in this land where it's full of uh full of strangers and full of iniquities, man. Alright? Full of things that that tempts you uh, uh, um, and, and tries to revive that old man. That's why Yahweh Bashimah Shah had it written in the book of Sirach, the second chapter, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thyself for temptation. Because what? Esau knows. What uh, uh what draws Jake away? It that, that's Esau's um, that's his uh that's his mo man. You know it says that in the book of Proverbs that he he sleeping not, at least he causes some to fall. That's his job man. His job is to be the devil, the deceiver, the slanderer, all right, the wicked of the earth man. You know and 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 these spirits that are, the, the the old man is floating around this piece man, trying to get you to come back, trying to reel you back in man. You know, that's why I said it's setting a dangerous place to fall, man. That's when you have to, you, you know, as a man of the Lord, you got to man up. You can't be weak in this thing, man. You have to do what you're supposed to do in order to do what you want to do. And what you have to do is man the hell up, man. All right? And it says, like as if there were a fire on the right hand and on the left a deep water. The one only path between them both even between the fire and the water, so small that there could one man go there at once. If this city were now given unto a man for an inheritance, if he never shall pass the danger set before it, how should he receive the, his inheritance? So if, we, if you don't do the things that you're supposed to be doing right now, how the hell you think you're going to get salvation? How you think the Most High is going? You think the Most High is going to have mercy on you if you're not doing what He told you to do now, preparing you to be kingdom-minded? You see, it, there's, there's no way, it, nothing comes from nothing, man. You know, it, even Esau will tell you that, nothing comes from nothing. So you have to put in some type of work and you have to do something. You got to fight. You gotta, it says you got to uh, uh, manfully fight, man, in this truth. There's a lot of things that's going to be like, come back to me. Come back to me, yeah, adultery, come back to me. Pork, you know, uh, uh, certain brothers used to smoke. And these things would be calling your name, man. And of course, they're, they're only demons. But you got to fight against that, man. You got you to gotta gird up your loins like a man and fight, man. Because you know that the kingdom of heaven is far more greater than what the hell's going on here, man. Our kingdom is going to be everlasting. Uh, this is Second Peter. Chapter 3. All right, 2 Peter chapter 3 and verse 13. It says, Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for a new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. You know, you don't have to worry, you don't have to worry about nothing no more in the kingdom of heaven. We're not going to have to war. You know, the hey, only thing we're going to have to worry about is, is um, establishing Yahweh Shemel Shai's law, statutes, and commandments and putting them on these heathens and, and, and ruling, man. And recompensing those that troubled us. That's what we're gonna have to worry about. But you gotta you gotta put in work now. You know, and this is starting with myself and, and to whomever it concerns, man. You gotta put in some type of work and you you gotta fight. It ain't gonna be it ain't gonna be easy. This world will kick your ass if you let it, man. This says Yahab Shimal Shai is gonna fight for us, man, but you gotta fight for him. Do the things that you have to do in order to do the things that you want to do. You, Jake wants to be kings. You know, Jake Jake wants to um, own this and that. But think about it. In the kingdom of heaven, you'll have all that plus more if you do what you're supposed to do now. You know? So, hey, Lord willing, Lord willing, man, we're, we're part of that number that, that are able to, uh, um, to, to have a high rank and rule in the kingdom of of righteousness, man. That's what the kingdom is going to consist of, righteousness, man. It's not going to be no no, no um, adultery. It's not going to be no idol worshiping. 
There's not going to be no extortion. There's not going to be no more hurt. All right? There's not going to be no, there's not going to be war, man. None of the things that this world consists of is going to exist, man. None of the wickedness of this world is going to exist in the kingdom of heaven. Think about that, man. Jake, Jake, Jake wants to be on top. You got your chance, man. Follow your Habashim Yahweh Shai, and you should never fail, man. In, in, in truth and in righteousness, man. So with that being said, I'm going to say Shalom, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rechah Kodash, Barak uh, uh, Double honors unto the elders and apostles at Great Millstone that feed us with truth and uh, understanding. And uh, um, peace, love, and salutation unto the hopeful elect out there, man. Shalom.